A Perth company is attracting worldwide attention by changing the way we take common medications. Converting existing drugs from pills into a mouth spray it means smaller doses, less side effects and it can be absorbed much faster. Six-year-old Amali Tello suffers seizures every day, some so severe they can last half an hour. <laughs> But this Perth invention could soon change her life, her existing medication transformed into a mouth spray that kicks in up to ten times faster. We're in a situation where the child's at risk, so the quicker we can do it and the more effective it can be delivered would be fantastic. The spray developed by Perth company Suda Limited would replace her ampule of midazolam, a sedative which has to be trickled into her mouth during an episode. When someone's seizing, can you imagine trying to get your fingers and an ampule into her mouth, into her cheek, when she's biting down on her teeth and, and so forth? It's really difficult. And the mouth spray has other benefits, including faster absorption, smaller doses and fewer side effects. We are revolutionising drug delivery. There are so many classes of molecules and, and diseases that we think we can treat with, with, with a spray. Other existing medications in the pipeline for conversion include an anti-malaria treatment, pain relief for migraines, an anti-nausea drug, anti-insomnia and Viagra. Doctors say the new method could prove popular, but measuring and converting the dosage to a liquid spray won't be easy. A five milligram tablet might not and probably won't transmit into a five milligram at five milligram spray, it might be one or two or a different number, so that will be important. The first drug we'll see on the Australian market is Zolpidem, also known as Stillnox, to treat insomnia. It still needs approval from the Therapeutic Goods Administration but could be on our shelves as early as 2019. That spray drug is already available in the US. We're really at the, at the beginning of, a, of an upward curve where uh, the use of a spray as a means of administering a drug will become more and more popular. Oh, look, I think it's watched this space. I think it has considerable potentials. Whether those potentials bear fruit, we'll, you know, we'll find out. Caitlin Barr, Nine News.